Hey, hello guys. Uh, there's been um, a couple of people um, concerned that the Morbius is wiping out the GPS signal um, while you're flying them, getting uh, flyaways on NASAs and stuff. So I just wanted to see for myself. So what we've got here is a HTC One S running a GPS test application and it's got itself linked, it's got seven satellites in view, five in use, you can see the uh, signal bar um, medium, medium sort of signal, I always get poor GPS here but uh, elite, you can get enough to see what's going on so you should be able to read that writing just fine I've got a Mobius sat there, it's in the off position um, and now I'm going to test it with it on, recording, around each side, etc, etc. I'll zoom out just a little bit. Now the GPS does bounce up and down around here, so it's, uh, it's going to be a rough check just to see what's going on. So first we'll, we'll turn the, the Mobius on at a distance away. So I'll just on. Should be able to pick up the LED. <clears throat> so our accuracy has gone up, well got worse 20 feet, there's now 7 in use, 6, now back up to 7, 6, so it's, it's bouncing about 5 in use now, 4, so that's down from what it was. Hope it's just turned back off again. Don't you love auto shutdown? Alright, back on again. We'll move it up and we'll press record because that's what you're going to be doing. You should be able to pick up the record LED and let's see what it does to the GPS. 7 in view, 5 in use so far. 6 and 4. Four and three. Yeah, we seem to be getting quite a drop. <clears throat> now Bruce's scan and RC model reviews came back with um, it hardly affected GPS in the slightest. It's turning out this is not the case, Bruce. I'll put it this side. Four in use, six viewed, five. Creeping back up, seven and five. Six and four. <clears throat> now let's let's see if we can turn it off. Let's see if we get all those satellites back once it's off. So we're getting six and four, seven and five. Got seven and five right now. The Mobius off. It doesn't seem to be making that much of a difference. We're still getting the six and four, seven, five. Back down to six, four. Um, so, 8 and 6, so it's crept up a little bit there, but that's typical of this area. So what I'll do is I'll turn the Mobius on, I'll put it in record. I was hoping to get, uh, there's a 7 and 5, let's put it, let's put it here again, so you can see it. Seven and five, let's see if it drops off again. No, there's eight and six. Seven and five. So it's exactly the way it was <clears throat> when the Morbius was turned off. Eight and six. So 
try the other side. Oops. Eight and six is pretty good. So so far the Mobius is showing absolutely no impact on the GPS. It dropped initially, but being at the windowsill, um, I'm not surprised it drops down all the time and then bounces back up again. Here we go. We dropped to four and three. Let's see if it goes back up again. <coughs> it's not a very scientific test, but... And normally in your FPV plane, you wouldn't have your GPS sensor sat on top of your Mobius anyway. That would be a pretty stupid thing to do. And we have dropped down the farm, we're sitting there pretty steady. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can get back up to eight, <clears throat> which I'm expecting. If we get if we get back up to eight um, within a minute or so, I would say the Morbius is having little to no effect whatsoever. <clears throat> We're up to six already. Six and five used. Back down again. Oh, here we go, up to seven already. So, I mean, it seems like a cycle round here. You get a couple of minutes of half decent eight, then it drops off again, and then it comes back around and up the go again. Right, let's turn it off. And by right, it should shoot back up to eight. <clears throat> and there you go, back up to eight. So it is having some effect. So if I put it on to record again, but I move it. Give it a little bit of distance away. I'll move the camera. Give it that much distance. Get the camera better. <coughs> Let's see what we've got. Uh, 12, 14 inches of spacing gives it so far. We're on 7. There's eight again. Only five being used though. Seven and four, eight and five, blah, 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 backwards and forwards. So yeah, it does seem to be having an effect, but as soon as you put a bit of space in between them, the effect is nearly minimal and it doesn't wipe all your GPS out at all. 
he drops it to about 4 in my case and 4 with only 8 selected and normally about 6 being used you wouldn't fly on that anyway, you'd, you'd fly on a higher lock before you began so make your own mind up does it really affect it or not